Hello everyone. We'll start new drawing. Millimeter. We'll choose the home. Click on the home. Choose the appropriate work plane, which is the front view. And then from the front view, we'll start drawing. We'll start with circles. Okay. This circle, 19.8, and we'll draw the radius 22, and then the upper circle, which is 12.75, and we'll connect between them. And from here, we'll start our drawing. And then this is the 15 degree and this is the 49 degree the 49 distance when you apply this dimension you have to be parallel and then you click don't click immediately otherwise you will not get this parallelism okay and then we will continue our drawing by draw the radius 14 and diameter 12.75 okay this radius 14 because it's a radius we have to draw it as a diameter 28 and then we'll draw the cut line which is at 57 from the center vertical line Now we draw into the center and we have 18 so we will we cannot do it until we do the trim so we trim And then we draw the center of the slot. The radius is you have the distance 12.75 and 12.7 is the tolerances. Okay, so 12.75 we choose, and then we draw. We have to make the center is 22. Okay, this value 22. Okay. And then we'll draw two lines, two lines, and then later this distance 36. Okay, we'll draw two lines, and these two lines will make will mark them as tangent. Okay, 36. Okay, let's draw the big circle first, and then we'll come to the two lines. The big circle radius 67, 67 multiplied by 2. Okay, and this big radius has tangent relation tangent with the upper diameter see upper diameter and I have to use constraint because I cannot use tangent so I will use constraint this circle to this point okay and then I will draw a line I will draw make tangent make tangent Cut, trim, remove unnecessary. See this vertical line, we don't need it anymore. Okay, so we trim, trim, and trim this value. Make construction. Twenty-two. The distance from here to here it has been erased. Ah, it's not mentioned. It's fifty-seven. Okay, it has to be defined. Yes, this is correct. Fifty-seven. Okay, I will make trim to remove this one. Now I will extrude.
before extrude I will draw the two lines that I told you about them see I will draw any line any line and any line below and then I will use tangent from the constraint see constraint tangent okay tangent this is better this better idea okay and I will extend extend I will trim trim okay now I have complete sketch see I am ready to make my extrusion okay the value is 28.58 or 28.52 extrude see I will choose see I will show you I forget to add hole here so I will add the hole which is 12.75 and 12.7 so any distance between them and I will change this to construction line ok so finish I will extrude ok 28.52 I'll choose the distance to be symmetric okay I will choose that why because I have to maintain the sketch in the middle and I want to maintain the work plane in the middle of the geometry because I will use it in order to make mirror okay which is very important see because this cut I will show this cut this cut I'll draw it from one part and then I will make mirror okay I will not be able to make I, would, I wouldn't be able to make mirror if I didn't choose the work plane to be in the middle of the geometry see I will cut only six and I use mirror I and then it happened okay the rest of the part is just easy I will create a new sketch in the middle of the work plane I will add the necessary dimensions I will leave you the rest of the video and enjoy the music